you don't get this far, they usually drop it on their foot. And then it goes into the bed. Okay. So, so be very, very careful. Give the ring a spin like that. Lift the ring up in the air like this. Wave it back and forth and blow. Hands up in the air for an applause cue. And take a bow. Spin the ring around your finger like this. Bang the rings together like that and link them right back together. Good job. High five. High five. No, and that's supposed to be connected just like this. Okay, now, now the next part is you're going to put your hand up in the air like a bow and arrow. You're going to shoot the ring all the way around. It's going to go into there and then you're going to catch it, okay? Hand up in the air like a bow and arrow. Like you're shooting a bow and arrow. Be serious about it. Don't aim that way. She's holding a camera. Go that way. Okay. One, two, three. Spin the ring all the way around like that. Hands up in the air for an applause cue. Spin the ring around your finger like that. Go the ring high up into the air and link them right back together like that. Wow, you're quicker than I am. And, and did you just put a dent in my ring? Okay. Very good. Let's give her a big round of applause for helping out. That's ring number one. Now before I take my leave, I have but one task that is to cleave these rings from one another. Number one begins a score. We follow through with number two. We're halfway there, just these to do. Next are numbers three and four. A mystery throughout the ages to baffle scientists and sages. For as the last rings disengage, we end our tale of silver rings, enchanted rings from an oriental shore. Forever free, forevermore. <laughs>